Um, Naxine and I didn't know what was going on, so we just walked through your arrows. <laughs> you idiots. Uh, okay. So... Um, you guys... Uh, start heading back to town. Uh, is there anything else you're doing? Is there any part of his house that is not burnt down? No, not really. Ah, it's gonna burn it. Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> Might as well work. be thorough. <laughs> there was a post that I saw today. I can't remember who posted it or what. Uh, but it was this girl on Twitter complaining that she literally had one dollar to her name. And some guy tweeted at her saying what's your Venmo and she then posted a picture like a screenshot he requested one dollar from her and it's like might as well make it zero <laughs> I was like wow that's that's great, that's great. <laughs> anyway okay so you guys are just heading back to town nothing else Yeah, I think so. Like, we already spent time at the... Gotta stay focused, guys. This one monster wrapped up this week. That's fair. Um, I would like that as well, because there's plenty more to go. Ooh. Um, but, as you're getting into town, you start approaching the lodge, I assume. Correct? And yeah. it's on fire. Awesome. No. No. <laughs> He's um, already in my room. You see a um what's it called? Abom Abominable right, child. Do you, no. Do you remember? Yeah, you of course remember. Uh, you see a familiar man getting out of a van. Um, uh, it is at the lodge. Yes. Okay. It is Robert Turner. As he Bob? go, yes. As he gets out of the van, he sees you guys and kind of waves, um, and then walks back to his the side door and opens up the side door. And somebody is getting out of the side door that you also recognize. Uh, with two bags in hand and like a hard uh, suitcase as well that looks like it. By hard I mean like one of those ones that's on rollers and like very sturdy. I don't know exactly what it would be called. Um the scientist tell me it's not the scientist you see a very familiar looking dr helena sinclair oh drama did she not get our email <laughs> we specifically said don't come i might as well take her to the altar then no don't talk about the altar. We, we can't I, risk I another will, person turning. I will remind you, and I'm not sure if you realize this, she has no idea what any of you look like. All right. All you did was attend her thing As we and watched. send her an email. You know what she looks like. She doesn't know what any of you look like. Yeah, but Bob just waved at us. That doesn't mean anything. Oh, okay. he, he knows you guys he's been around town he's a very friendly and talkative person which I'm sure Dr. Helena Sinclair just found out after being in the van with him for the past after four hours yes. uh -huh. so but yeah you get her see her getting out of the van and heading up towards the lodge 
Oh no. Yeah. Okay. How are we gonna approach it? She didn't get our email. Or she just ignored it and decided that she was gonna come anyway. We piqued her interest enough. No, well, that's on her. No, no, I I realize that, but it's like the reason we were saying we didn't want her to come was because there could be an issue with her trying to get sucked into this thing too. Not on purpose, but we've seen what it does to people. And it's, I was able to pull my hands off, but... This is what she, this is her forte. This is her, I don't know. No, quantum realms. I, mean, I know, I realize that, but how is this not interesting to somebody, a scientist like that? So how do we approach this? Because we're staying at the same place. We're going into the building. Should we just go in and see how it goes? But it's like what we want to keep stuff away from her. We could just not talk to her. Hmm. I feel like that's not going to work, Charlie. It's it's a well, very not? small play. Well, I'm Joe. Gonna... She's going to find out who we are eventually. It's like we've introduced ourselves to as many people as we can. Elaine is not going to lie about who we are. Who's Elaine? Oh, sorry. Not Evelyn. Elaine. Evelyn. Evelyn. Yeah, Evelyn. Is not going to lie. And it's like Frankie's in there why it's in there so it's like who knows all somebody has to do is slip up and say a name of course does she know all our names no she won't i don't think she knows any of your names did we use our names well, i thought somebody would have signed the email i can guarantee that i did so she only knows maxine's name when we were asking her questions were we using our names nope well it would have just been first names at the so, most, and for a nominate or emails like that, you couldn't link that to a specific person. It was just first names, however, uh, you guys I'm trying to remember now. It doesn't really matter because the email was sent by people other than like they didn't necessarily see the thing. You know what I'm talking about? Like they didn't necessarily see the lecture there was a mid there was a middleman relaying the message to her right no i'm saying no she would have been viewing the messages on zoom but the oh. email you sent after wasn't sent by the same person for one thing because victor and wyatt were the ones who asked questions right So, yeah, so she would only know of Maxine being linked here. So Maxine, go live in the woods and we'll radio when she <laughs> leaves. There you, you go. You can stay at Elias' cabin. Yeah. Oh, wait. That's gone. Never mind. Go stay in the uh, ruins. Oh, yeah, they're perfect. No. No, thank you. Well, you I know, can stay in the pool the whole time. It's beautiful. Yeah, I think I know what goes on at that place. Ah, uh, I see. What? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you wouldn't know. Yeah. Wine and stuff. Yeah. Put it, put it together. What? what? Like parties? Yes. Yes. Big parties. Seems like something yeah. you would enjoy. Naked uh, big no. party. No, no, I'm okay. Well, do you guys want to go in? And I can, I don't know, I'll wander off to... Maybe I'll go to the bar for now. 
She also does not know what you look like. Okay, so she's come specifically to the place looking for... Well, you don't well, know. I don't know. All you know is she's True. here. True. We just recognize her. Yeah. You have no idea why she's here. All you know is she is here. Okay. And how often do people come up to us and that talk to us by name? Not very. So we'll be fine. We just don't tell her who we are. Or who you are, more specifically. Yeah. First thing that's going to happen is you're going to get introduced. Uh, all right. Exactly. So you kind of are glaring through the window a little bit. And you see her talking to Evelyn. Uh, they're just making conversation. Are you guys going in or no? Evelyn points out the window at us. No. <laughs> That's who you're looking for, right there. Okay, well, we could go find Tom and talk to him. Let him know what what we did. Which part? That we... Well, I guess he won't care. It's like that we left a note and... Yeah, he wouldn't care about that. Well, we've got the room set up already. Do we have any analog film equipment? Uh, yeah, that was part of the stuff that he had ordered. So we should have that set up recording the room as well. Okay. All right. Uh, she walks away. And has I have to review the video before sharing it, but what do you mean by that? Well, I, I guess I could just use like a public bathroom if I need to do anything. Uh, I mean, changing primarily. <laughs> okay, why are you I aiming the camera into your bathroom for one thing? I may have forgotten hotel rooms have bathrooms. Okay. I don't use I, I, I don't leave the house often <laughs> um anyway so you guys uh yeah you think there's gonna be a train right away um yeah you guys see her walk away from the front desk are you guys going to go in or what Yeah, we could just proceed as normal. Yeah, we'll go upstairs or we'll go, we'll just walk on by. Okay, you go in, and as soon as you walk in, Evelyn's like, Oh, um, Maxine, I think your friend Aww. is here. Um, she said that she was looking for a Maxine. Um, I didn't tell her, obviously, because there's confidentiality reasons, but... I think you have a friend here. Is she nearby? No. She walked away like okay. she went up to her room. Okay. Uh, okay. I did write this, this lady, but I'm, I would prefer not to speak to her right now. If, if I can avoid it. Um, we, uh, there was a miscommunication. She, we had said not to come because we didn't want her to waste her time, basically. So, um, yeah, if you could just not let her know that I'm here as of right now. And, uh, yeah. Would that be all right? I hope I, I'm not, like, making you feel awkward or anything. No, no, I understand uh mom's the word i guess and um yeah just for now at least until we figure some stuff out so i guess i'll just keep the conference room locked off 
limits for her, or...? I would assume so, right, guys? We don't. Why would she need access to the conference room? If she wanted coffee in right. the morning? Is that it's... the only place there's coffee? No, she can go to my diner, but I'm just... Hotel coffee. It's fine. I I already said that's fine. Okay, thanks. Yeah, like I said, if if things change, I I'll let you know. But as of right now, yeah, we're just trying to keep things on the on the down low. We're not really wanting to uh, let anyone besides in town know know who we are. Okay, so we're we heading up to the room. Yep, I assume. You tell me. I'm talking to the guys. Oh, okay. Sure. Okay, so is there anything else that we can think of that we need to do for in here, or what? What's the scoop? Like. He just suddenly appeared in your room, right, Charlie? Or Yep. Now what do you remember what time that was around? Not that he has Middle a time of the night. Time. Okay. So Yeah, if we need memory. cameras set up and we need to make sure there's no way he can escape. Oh yeah, we talked about like how hot right? How hot we were going to make the room? Yeah, we can make it warm, but uh, would he have the mental capacity to, you know, open the door? Well, if he didn't open the door last time. Last time he could teleport and leave without. If we remove his, that capability, will he just leave? Because we're hoping that the heat will not allow him to use any of his powers that he has, correct? That's that's the yeah. point of that? Yeah, so he, he, we're hoping he won't be able to teleport away, but he still has arms, hands, like, he can still walk. Right. Well, we're... So we need to make sure he doesn't just open the window or open the door and leave the room like a normal human. Yeah, well, we're surveilling the room, so while you might be in the room, I'll be surveilling the room. So, But if he, he gets out, he may regain his abilities. Yeah, he won't be getting out, because once he's we in there... We need to make sure the window is sealed so it can't be opened, and if you guys are waiting outside the door, you can stop him Locked. from leaving that yeah. way. Weren't you planning on ventilating out the window? Oh, right. Yeah, so the window opening will be blocked by venting. Yeah, because I, I, I don't want to die of carbon monoxide poisoning. Ah, uh, always, always something. <laughs> Such a whiner, Charlie. <laughs> always something with Charlie. Not wanting to have Not a wanting nice to peaceful die. sleep. Peaceful sleep. A peaceful forever sleep. That's right. You're welcome. Okay, so... Do you are you do you have his notes and stuff in here? Yeah, I don't need his notes. Oh, you're not actually bringing them. I'm going to have a binder full of notes, but not his notes. I just want everybody to know we're paying the dog tax right now, so watch our channel. Thank you. Look at that giant dog now. With her one floppy ear. Does she shed like crazy? Yes. Yeah, I just vacuumed up so much Odin hair. And pink eye. 
Yeah, don't. I wouldn't tell people about that. She's a sad, sick dog. She needs views. Yeah, exactly. Views will make her better. Yeah, if we can get the if we can get this channel to a billion views, if we, if we could get some views. This dog will live one more day. That's it, though. Every <laughs> like the video. Every back. every like gives her one more day of life. That's right. <laughs> Otherwise, With your she help, doesn't. She can live forever. <laughs> Otherwise, she doesn't get hugged today. Okay, so, yeah. <laughs> Every time we were like, can you open the door? Oh, well, we'll be outside the door. So you're going to get out the door. Well, we'll push him back in. It's like, can't open the window. No, he can't open the window. No, he can't. So he'll teleport himself into the room. That's what you're hoping... assuming, yes? Yes. We're assuming... We got those diesel things on a remote control that Charlie has in his we got it all figured out. You have a like smart. I'm just you got a smart plug set up so that when, yep. <laughs> when he uh, comes in, just have it hooked up it's to my... the clapper. <laughs> oh, no. My thing is, it's like, does the heat <laughs> affect him immediately? Like that's that's the well, part I'm like. The heaters aren't going to start immediately. Like they are pretty quick, but it's like it's not. An immediate heat up. I, am I correct in that assumption, there, Charlie? Uh, yeah. Big heaters a room. Like it would be hot within like less than a minute, but because they they do throw instant heat as soon as they ignite, but it takes time for the room around it to heat. But it's not a big room, so. Yeah. And how many did you want to, uh, how many did Tom order? All of them. No, but like think of like what an average hotel room size is and how no, many would. Was I think he ordered four. I don't know if we're using them all because originally we were doing the uh, cave, the cave. Yeah. Well, one, the more we have, the faster it heats up. Yeah, but you gotta have a way to vent that all, too. Just have them all set, hooked up to the same ducting that leads outside. I feel like we're just trying to like envision but we have no idea exactly well you could quite easy fit four like diesel heaters into a hotel room they're not massive they're like this tall three feet long foot wide like they're not massive massive things of course charlie didn't even know he had a bathroom in his room charlie doesn't know how big a hotel room is either <laughs> Well, no, I'm actually thinking in the uh, hotel room. I'll give you, I'll give you uh, dimensions right now. Uh, thirty-nine inches long, twenty-three inches wide, and twenty-six inches high. Yeah, so you could quite easily fit three of them in not too big of a space, or four even. That's one hundred forty thousand BTU, and the heating area is. 3,500 square feet. And your hotel room's 150 square feet. Yeah, maybe. Or yeah, so set up all four of them. Because, like, yeah, <laughs> one might take 30 seconds to heat up a room, but four would take five seconds. Plus, the modern ones do have switches, so like they won't keep heating. They will turn off when the heat a temperature is reached, so it's not like we'd burn down the building. 
Yeah, you got. See, and that was another thing we were wondering about because we were like, because we've already had a little accident. Yeah, so no fingers. Less than I'll have no a fire pointing. extinguisher on hand, and yeah, we'll have no the temperature set me. to thirty degrees. So we'll just heat to thirty, then shut off. And when it tries to cool it down, it'll heat it back up. We'll be yeah. good. See if our if our American friends were here, they'd be like, "What is 30? Be like. But they're not here, so, so it sucks to be them. So hot. <laughs> I'm not talking about having it set to freezing. Yeah. Do you have to pick the, uh, uh, do you have to pick, like, the temperature that it turns off at? At least stars, it's kind of a dial, so it's not picking a specific temperature, but it's, like, at this part of the dial that will shut off. Um, okay. Yeah, I I can actually send you the one I just looked up. Give me a sec. That that's the that's the ones he got. He got four of those. And hey, it gets discounted as soon as he gets three plus, so perfect. That's probably why he got four. You'd be yeah. like, you know what? Should yeah, you can take the temperature you want it at. Anywhere from 40 to... Wait, anywhere from 5 to 45. Where are you seeing that? More pictures. Oh. So we can oh, just have nice. it set to 30 or something like that, and it, it will maintain our temperature. And then between that and the light, we should be good. Uh, okay, perfect. I wonder if we should put one outside the door. A heater? Uh -huh. Just melt the door. Well, no, 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 no. How would we, a, how would we vent it? And B, oh, true. what Never will mind. we say? Ne okay, what okay. will we say so, if the hotel owner me. comes up and is like, what are you doing? <laughs> He's like, I feel a little chill. I mean, not just that, but so. you just got somebody very curious entering the hotel as well. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> You'd be like, what's that sound? What's all the fans going off? They're not They're not getting out the door. They enter Why? the hall and there's multiple dead bodies from carbon monoxide. They've all passed out. We'll chalk it up to mass suicide. Yeah. The campaign is over due to us just being idiots. Yeah. The monster didn't even kill us. We killed yeah. us. And not even not even a hard monster. The first monster. <laughs> um, okay. We are so depressed. So, you guys have the room all set up. And then are you just ending the night? What are, what's your plan? Are you just going to bed or no drinking tonight. Yeah. I did. I, was, I, I was did thinking talk about of drinking tonight. The bar. I feel like we should probably be at full capacity, mental wise. Or will I need a liquid courage? Were you yeah, no, no drinking tonight. <laughs> Were you inebriated when you talked to him the last time? Oh, actually, I, actually, I think I think we came from the bar after. So maybe being you sober, I thing. am never sober. Maybe you do want to have a little drink then. You, you but, think the water bottle I always have with me is full of water? Well, I had my I had my own special bottle, but that that got wrecked with a little incident. The one in the booster juice cup. Yeah, the booster juice. Cup. What? Uh, okay. Oh dear. So you're just going to bed then? Yes. In quotes, yes. Yes. Okay. So well, are who... they going to bed or are they just camping out that's, in the hall? That's that's what I'm saying. Who who is where? Well, we are monitoring the cameras that we set up everywhere. Yeah. From our surveillance across the room. So we are basically across the wherever our room oh, is. You're across the hall or whatever. 
Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I could be in the room with Victor watching monitors, I guess. Correct. And yeah. you guys have the uh, the heaters set up on plugs, smart plugs yeah. or clappers, whatever you want them to be. The smart clappers. plugs. Okay. I'm not clapping. <laughs> I, wouldn't that be great though? You just clap, clap, and all of them come on. I, oh. I have your notes right here. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So. Oh, but wait. What? What now? Clapper might be better because can we trust my uh, like an electronic device? Ooh. It's on a clapper. <laughs> <laughs> You got four clappers yes. to go along with it. We thought, we thought ahead and ordered clappers as well. <laughs> okay. So, you guys... These are staying in all the my room after we're done. <laughs> he loves the clappers. Uh -huh. did, you, did you switch it to bedtime music? No. No. Oh. If you go to the music, you can see what it is. Um, okay. Creepy music box. It sounds like my bedtime music, though. What bedtime music do you have? Well, I usually listen to horror stories. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> oh. Okay. So, you all lay down in your bed. Victor and Maxine, you perch yourselves watching carefully on the cameras. Um, and the cameras uh -oh. start to get some static on them and start to frost over a little bit. And oh, we got action. Uh, Are Charlie. Charlie. You begin to feel a little chilly. Yeah. Did we so, walk uh, him? Would we walk you? Oh no, there's a camera in his room, right? Yep. Right. Do I see a figure standing in my room? Um, as of right now, no. So I'm going to just continue laying down and wait. One sec, sorry. Woof. Oh man. <laughs> I got an alert that there was activity at my side door. What was it? There's two cats outside of my house right now. They're staring at each other. Something's going down. Cat fight, cat fight, cat fight. I was thinking more of a, like a one cat ordering a hit. Oh. <laughs> Did you uh, upset Boo or Yoda today? No. <laughs> Are you sure? I mean, I did just throw Yoda down, so maybe. And you did there. clean the litter. Yeah, the litter's clean. Okay. Well, so there's no know. reason your cats will want to take you out. That's right. The hit won't be for you then. <laughs> okay, thank goodness. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway. I just, I, sorry, that made me laugh because I got an alert saying there was action on my side door and I'm like, uh-oh. <clears throat> anyway. So, you begin to get colder. And you feel a presence in the room, but you still don't necessarily see anything. I assume you sleep in the dark. 
I have a light turned on to dim tonight. You have a night light? Oh. Well, it's one of those lamps that has multiple settings. Ah. Okay. So, yes, I have a night light. <laughs> All right. So, with that, then, you do see a slight shadow in the room. Hello? There's no response. Uh, where is the shadow? Uh, so you'd be laying in bed, so it'd be to your right. I get out of bed and approach the shadow. Uh, okay. I think I have something you want. No response. What's the shadow doing? Uh, just kind of kneeling in a squatting position. So not moving? No. I'm gonna go sit in the chair and wait while watching the shadow. I don't believe in the past did we encounter when the creature was just a shadow sorry. and not the body it is I, I, sorry I was just saying it's a shadow because you uh, see it, it's in dim light um, it is it's Elias oh. oh I thought you were saying it was like a shadow is, creature I, I understand sort. the confusion now but no oh, okay. it's, uh, it is just uh it's just Elias. Elias, all alone. And yes, Boo is right here. Um, so it's not Boo outside. And that's... I just sent you the picture as well. Um, Maxine. So you can see... I didn't say it was Boo. I said Boo or Yoda ordered a hit. No, I know. I'm just, I was a little concerned that somehow they got out. But no, it's, I don't think they did. <laughs> Because you know that both of my cats are escape artists and like to try and leave as much as possible. Oh, I see the other one. I'm like, where's the other one? <laughs> okay, so, uh... Did the clapper come on? I'm going... Oh, I look oh, at Elias and I tell him, I, I have your notes right here. And as I hold up the book, I clap. Okay. And the fans and noise instantly starts. And you can see, like, a startled look on Elias's face um, as he kind of, like, glances around the room. Uh, and what else do you do? What I else? Did you hold have, like, the book of notes oh, and kind of approach? Hold up. Uh, did you have, like, your. I don't know what to call it. What are the like bright lights that like construction places have? What are they called? Construction lights? I don't know. Uh, They'd be on like... the timer to like clap. Everything on the... turned on with okay. clap. Aren't they trouble lights? Well, they're like trouble lights, but yeah. yeah. Well, trouble lights are that's what whatever. Work, Just work lamps. Yeah, work <laughs> light. Whatever. We know what you're talking about. Yeah, okay. So yeah, those are all set up as well, and those all come on. Uh, so you can see Elias's full form. Um, he still looks like Elias, just with his translucent blue skin. Um, and he immediately tries like you, you can see his body like kind of jerk and like jolt um but nothing happens i i don't want to hurt you what are we getting on our cameras uh Anything? the frost has started to drift away and you can see elias in the corner it is very bright on the camera um but you can see 
it is hard to see because of how bright it is, but it you can see both figures in the room. I okay. would assume so, that we would go... No, you would stay and monitor the okay. cameras, and I would be outside. Okay, so I'm, I'm watching. So we discuss. It's like, okay, I think you're going to take off now and get yep. the outside the door. Please. Okay, I'll just stay here and watch this then. Yep. Okay, so you're just standing outside the door? For now. Okay. Just to make sure he's... No, no, because as I, soon as no, he's no, weak enough. No. Uh, and you see his body jolt again, kind of jerk, and nothing happens still. Uh, it, do you need me to explain to you what's what's happening or no? He's, he's, no, he's, he's trying, trying to, teleport. to teleport and can't. Correct. I just wasn't sure if that was making sense to you yet or not. I'm I'm going to approach him and touch him to see if I still get frostbite. Yes. Thought so. Or aloe vera. Victor, come in quick. Like close the door behind you quick. Yeah, so I did. He backs into the corner. Uh the you almost feel bad for him at this point because he looks like a scared animal. I don't think we planned what to do after this point. I didn't think we'd get this far. <laughs> you know, we should have probably got some kind of some kind of honestly, you know what I thought? I was hoping that he would like revert back to his normal self with the heat over time, but I don't know what's going to happen. So um, if we keep him weak enough, maybe we can get some kind of, I don't know. I don't know what to do with him. Because restraining him is not, I'm not there. We're security. We didn't think this far ahead. We, we may be able to restrain him now. With something, some kind of rope that won't freeze. He visibly starts shaking. Like Is he, he dying? He, no, he looks terrified. Oh. Uh, well, that's to be expected. How would you feel if you came into a room and suddenly massive heaters turned on and massive lights turned on? I mean, fair enough, I guess. <laughs> We need I don't to know, restrain should... him and keep well, him. We need to talk to him too, and t like I, I think he understands what we're saying. Can you understand? We're not. I, we won't hurt you, Elias. We want to help you. Mm, it, it's still no different reaction. Maxine, go get his notes. I'm assuming the cameras have audio. Eh, probably. Sure. So I go and retrieve his notes from somewhere. From Frankie's Frank room? Frankie's room. I'm hoping they will give him some comfort having his notes. It's okay. possible. So I'll take off to Frankie's room then. And meanwhile, I'm going to talk to him about Rachel, that we found Rachel, that uh, Rachel's okay. Uh, she just doesn't want you to have to go through what she went through, etc., etc. Try to calm him down that way and say, we're hoping that we can find a cure for you. But we don't want you to hurt others. And this is stage, this is just stage one. It's going to get much worse. I, I grab a paper and I write down onto it and hand it over to Victor. I I don't know how long we can contain him. We may need to put him out of his misery. What? Okay. Yeah. 
Uh, like, I, I, I'm saying it in as in uh, we might need to, not like uh, we're going to, just like a precautionary, we need to be aware this is a possible outcome. Like we burnt down his house, let's get rid of any evidence. <laughs> we burnt down his house, we, we stole all his there. research notes, time to just put him down. That's right. Really, what good is he at this point? Yeah. He can't lose what anything else. Okay, that is so not I... how I meant it, but okay. <laughs> okay, so I come back with the the notes. Okay. Be like, I'm opening the door. It's like, okay. Okay, dude. Here's okay. the. I, ta I take them from Maxine, pass them to Charlie. Here, Charlie. I'll, I take the notes and cautiously approach Elias. He, here's your notes. He quickly he like react? reaches out and grabs him and like holds him close to his body, but it he still has like... like the shaking that's going on. We, so we want to help. You all are sweating. Very hot. Yes. Very sweaty. But he seems to be having the opposite reaction. He's getting colder. He's shivering in the heat. 